What did the poor people that made this game do to have all these publications take a giant dump on Terminator Resistance? Even if you don't like the Terminator franchise, this isn't a 4 out of 10 game. Generic shooter was the best argument they could come up with. The same people that give their blessings to a new Call of Duty game year after year after year after year. Welcome to completion number 57 of the Potato Backlog Project. For more info and more backlog videos, see the links below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for the only rating that matters. The Tater Raider. Now let's talk about Terminator Resistance. I really gotta think these low scores are because these people either really don't like the Terminator franchise as a whole, or they think every video game release needs to be a AAA $300 million budget monster. Terminator Resistance was made for the fans, clearly. Its goal is to tell a story, immerse you in a world, and just make you feel like you're a part of that place for a little while. And for me, it did just that. The story for the game disregards everything outside of the original two films, and sets you as a private in the Resistance army. This takes place about 30 years after Judgment Day, so you're right in the thick of things in the war against Skynet. I really enjoyed meeting the other survivors throughout the story and hearing their personal stories. It helped paint a picture of the world as it is now and how it was directly after Judgment Day as well. Some of the game's side missions revolve around doing things for some of the people you meet, which in turn opens up more of their stories, and in the end some of those things affect the different endings you can get after completing the main game. The story does a good job of letting you experience the future war with Skynet, right up to the point where there's sending Terminators back in time. The same ones that we would see in the first and second movies. I can't really remember any good Terminator games, so going through this one left me pretty happy and satisfied after I completed it. The game gives you a decent arsenal of weapons to combat the machines. As you work your way through the game, you'll find different explosives, stimulants and boosts, decoys, rocket launchers, snipers, and a few different rifle variations. Alongside that, there's a simple weapon upgrade system for the pulse rifles, where you use chips you scavenge off down to enemies to boost the gun's stats. Overall, the controls were solid, the game ran smooth, and I wasn't hit with any bugs, glitches, or messiness that hurt my experience. I was able to do the things I wanted to do. It seems like a strange thing to point out, but with the state lots of games are launched and left in these days, it seemed important to mention that it actually works as intended, especially for a game that scored this low. One gripe I do have is the overall feeling of walking and running. It felt a little too static and Fallout-like for my taste. It was a little too floaty. It functioned and worked, but it's definitely something you wouldn't want to see or feel if this was a big budget title. The gunplay was solid enough though and more than made up for it. One of the high points of the game is obviously getting to not only see all the different machines, but also getting to fight them. I enjoyed the enemy variety, there were different terminator types and different support robots, they had the aerial gunships and the giant hunter killers, certain gun turrets were actually hackable, so you could get them to fight for you. Combined with some stealth options to kill the T-800s, it offered me different ways to tackle different situations, so I didn't always have to be going in guns a-blazing, which I enjoyed. The combination of the visuals of these enemies, the environments and the sound design is really what sold the experience for me. The music and the laser blast noise is just unmistakably the Terminator world. Walking through a building and scanning, seeing nothing, then seconds later hearing the Terminator music cue. scary, creepy, and pretty fun. Terminator Resistance also has a very simple level up system. Each level you gain a skill point, which you can assign to things like hacking, lock picking, stealth, crafting. You can also find skill books hidden throughout the levels. If you find one, they give you a skill point or two without the need to actually level up. So just a little added incentive to explore some of the areas a little bit better. There's nothing insanely deep here, but I like that it gives the choice to the player on which perks you get and when you get them. If someone played this game and didn't know anything about the Terminator franchise, they would probably think it's average. Not a bad game, but nothing super noteworthy. Someone that doesn't like the Terminator franchise is probably gonna hate everything going on here. But anybody that's an actual Terminator fan is gonna have a really good time with this game. I'm glad this game was made, clearly made for the fans, and it deserves much better than the scores that it was given. A 4 out of 10 for me is a bad experience game with lots of broken elements that just don't work. This game has clear direction, mechanics that work, a solid story and characters, 
features. It opens and closes strong, and it doesn't overstay its welcome. Three happy potato faces out of five. If I was being super biased, it would be four out of five, but we're keeping things legit here. This is just a solid single player experience through the world of the Terminator franchise, and it's good. But with that, the backlog project rolls on. Thank you so much for watching. Be kind to yourselves and others that deserve it. We're on to the next one. Oh, I hit record this time. Got it. I think it would be super lame to do something like, I'll be back. Nailed it. <laughs> For more info and more backlog videos, see the blue, 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 blue. Cut it.